Hi, this is Kevin Babcock from Telerik with another rad tip. Today's tip is for ASP.NET AJAX developers wanting to take advantage of some of the more advanced features of the RAD grid. In this video, I'll discuss the header context menu and how it can be used to process operations like sorting or grouping on a per column basis uh, in the RAD grid. So let's jump into Visual Studio. You'll see that I've already got a project created and set up. I've got a RAD grid with some columns defined and it pulls its data from a linked data source control. I'll hit F5 to run this so that we can take a look at it in Internet Explorer. You'll see I've got a list of products from Northwind which display their product name, their category, price, and whether or not they're discontinued. Now there's really nothing special going on here so let's jump back into Visual Studio and add some more functionality. Now by setting a single property, enable header context menu and setting it to true, I can hit F5 and run this again and take a look at some of the functionality we've gained by setting that single property. Now when I right click on the header of the grid, I've got a context menu which allows me to group or ungroup my columns. So let's say I want to group by category here. I can right click on the header in the category column and hit group by and now my grid is grouped by category. I can go and ungroup it. I can also right click anywhere in the header, select the columns menu and select or deselect those columns which I want to display or hide. And I can easily display and hide those columns which I want to see or I don't want to see. Now what's cool is if we jump back into Visual Studio and let's say we turn on sorting and run this again. you'll see that now our context menu has changed and it's added sorting to the menu as well. So the context menu is built dynamically on a per grid basis and examines the properties that are set in the grid and builds a context menu based on the functionality that you've defined for your grid. So we could turn grouping off in the grid and those options in the context menu would be removed. So we can sort here by the product or we can clear our sorting using the context menu. So another really quick and easy way just by setting a single property to get some more advanced functionality of the grid. So tune in to future videos as I bring you more rad tips for Telerik controls. Until then, thanks for watching.